Hey guys, Jason here for Chart Guys. If you like charts, you want to learn how to read charts and do technical analysis on commodities and stocks in the manner that we do them here, I encourage you to check out chartguys.com, look up to our membership options. Uh, we've got a great community of hundreds and hundreds of analysts who love to do this stuff all day, every day. We're constantly covering the markets in our chat and live broadcasts, and uh, I'd love you to be a part of it. So check that out. On the monthly time frame, gold not doing a heck of a lot. We're seeing some back and forth activity and that's gonna be reflected more elegantly in the weekly time frame. But right now we have a couple of ranges that have been established by the weekly time frame. Uh, we have 1459 support, which is going to be uh, just from this early week's trading action on the weekly time frame. But pay attention to that. Not a lot of information here, which means we need to zoom in to the weekly time frame to get an idea of what's going on. So here we are, we are in a weekly downtrend. Our current high is at 1535 and our current low is at 1459. Anything under 1535 is gonna be continuation, so a new lower high on the weekly trend, which would suggest that we're gonna see some drifting to continue to set new lows and that would re require a break of 1459. So the only way that really changes is if we break above 1535 and set a higher low over 1459. That would set up a nice bull case for continuation outside this monthly consolidation. But until that happens, we gotta be prepared for both scenarios. Right now, we're in a weekly downtrend. On the daily time frame, this is where we start paying more attention to support levels. We're in that daily downtrend, 1535. We've established a low. Now we're trying to hunt to see if we can't get ourselves a lower high under 1535. Anything under that level, and we already looked at this on the weekly chart, is just going to result in more downside and then a test of that 1459 level. As you get into these areas of support, you get uh, good opportunities for shorter moves on sub time frames that give you those good trading uh, opportunities. So that's why you have to pay attention to these levels. If we come down to 1459 and we see a nice bull setup on the 15 minute time frame, that can result in good opportunities. So we're always watching these trends and these time frames to know what's working with us, what's working against us, and that's why having that community behind you who can watch these charts with you is so essential. But on the daily time frame, nice move to the upside, not really seeing any continuation here. Doji candlestick signaling some indecision and then a big red day today, which likely if we have set this as our new daily lower high at 1520 will result in continuation and then a test or break of 1459. So we'd be looking to those support levels. If we break above 1520, our next resistance 1535, then 1557 on the daily time frame. Should bears continue to drive through 1459, we don't have a lot of support until 1430 and then 1400. On the four hour time frame here, we see a four hour uptrend. We lost that with a break below um, 1495.992. You know what, in fact, I'm gonna call that a double bottom, but we did break it again conclusively on this last candlestick in which we are currently in. Our current low is 1488 and we have lower highs on the four hour time frame. So we are now in a four hour downtrend and looking for more downside continuation. Our first signal that that's gonna shift is going to be a break above 1504 on the hourly time frame. And you see how all these, all these time frames play together? If we break above 1504, we have the ability to set a new hourly trend. So in conclusion, what are we looking at here right now? Weekly time frame, we are in a downtrend. We're right in the middle of the range for that action. On the daily time frame, we're seeing a lot of red right now with bias toward the downside. Bulls need to break over 1520 for that to change. Let's adjust our charts a little bit. Bulls need to break over 1519 for that to change. And until they do so, we are in a four hour downtrend as well. So all signs point to bears. Bulls need to break over 1504 on that four hour time frame for me to be paying attention to things. Long term, what am I interested in? I would love to see us get a higher low over 1459 on the daily time frame. Look for some bull trades on our miners and all of our related socks and commodities and see if we can't get some good opportunities. So that is it for today. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all the time you guys spend with us and uh, looking at our videos and it really helps us out. And I hope that I help you out a little bit. Thanks a lot.